Hi, everybody. Welcome to Limitless. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody in the Zoom room with me. Hello, everyone on Facebook, YouTube, all the places. A huge, huge welcome. I'm so excited that you are joining me, whether you're joining me live or, of course, for the for the replays. If you're here in the Zoom room, do say hello. Let me know where you're where you're tuning in from. I would love to see. It's always fun to see where everybody is coming, coming and joining us from around the world. I see some familiar faces here, some new names here. A huge welcome. I'd love to know, is this your first time with us? Have you been to many of our masterclasses before? Let me know. Oh, this is awesome. Welcome, Leanne. It's Leanne's first time. Thighs in Cape Town in South Africa. Leanne's in Manchester. I hope it's sunny with you today. It is where we are down, down in the south near, near Brighton. A huge, huge welcome. Oh, hi, Steve. Steve's in Nottingham. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Let us know if you are joining us on Facebook. I've also got the Limitless Facebook group open as well, so I can hopefully see your comments. I do read everyone's comments, so um, do keep keep them flowing. Um, it's wonderful to have this as a two-way conversation. And of course, if I don't sort of speak to them whilst we're live, know that I will go back and, and read them. Claire is in Cardiff. Welcome, first time. Kelly's first time. A huge welcome. Huge, huge welcome. This is so exciting. Alrighty, so I'm going to give you our flow for our time together, share you, share with you a, a story, and then we're going to get you set up for success. And your experience is, is designed to help you co-create with the energy of money by balancing the inner healing with our Helix Method Manifesting Ritual, which is our proven method for consistent predictable manifestations so you can feel really really good about generating receiving and circulating plenty plenty of money so we have um we'll have all the re recordings from our lives our sessions together um housed in a guide section in the facebook group so if you're not in the facebook group already then you can simply scan that qr code on the screen and that should take you to the facebook group um so you, that you can you can find us there. And of course, if you have for any reason not registered yet, then please do um, register. I'll get the team to pop the, the link for to register in, in the comments so that you've got that. And of course, if you want to invite any friends as well, then that is the link to, to share with them. And once you've registered on the thank you page, that'll give you a, a link to come straight into the, the Facebook group. That's where it's all going down in between our our sessions um, as well. Alrighty. So I can see, okay, perfect. We have got some automatic summaries going on. So that's all very good as well. Um, we will provide um, the, the recordings for you in the uh, in the Facebook group along with the, the chat as well so that you have that. And we do also get um, a transcript too. So we can provide that if you prefer to, to, to read along as well. Alrighty, this is for you. I am so excited this that you are joining me for this experience together. So this is for you, whether you are, perhaps you're an entrepreneur and you're growing to your first six figures in revenue. You're a high achiever, you're committed to personal development and, and growth. Perhaps you're an entrepreneur who's already at that six figure, multi six figure mark, and then you're growing to that next level. Maybe your milestone that you are aiming for is, is seven figures or perhaps you're selling your business. I know we've got people at all different stages of business joining us this week. So this is this is for you. Ultimately, everybody wants to be able to have that aligned success with balance and harmony and, and peace in their hearts as, as they're growing their businesses and being able to make that bigger impact in the world. So I invite you to set aside between 60 to 90 minutes for each of our sessions this week. Honestly, this is the most important thing that you'll be able, I will invite you to have your attention on this week because you're going to be learning the six biggest energetic blocks that slow down sales, cash flow, impactful marketing for, for entrepreneurs. You're going to have ha learn how to have complete confidence by being your true self as you hit your financial revenue goals by mastering the wealth energetics and how your nervous system can feel safe so that you can actually allow more in and overcome those hidden self-worth blocks so that you can upgrade your, your net worth and that will enable you to hit that next level. 
and the Helix method, I will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide. We'll be giving you that tomorrow. This is where you will have that step-by-step -step guide um, to heal these blocks and how to find out what's hidden so that you know how to reveal the blind spots. They don't hold you back. They're not slowing down your impact and you can really focus on what you came here to, here to do. And you'll learn how to co-create with the energy of money with our Helix Method Manifesting Ritual. And this is our proven method for consistent, predictable manifestation. So that we want everyone feeling that you can really relax financially about all the aspects of money, whether it's making money, receiving money, holding money, circulating plenty of money, regardless of all the things that are going on, on in the world. And... I've seen the caliber of the incredible people that we've got in the group. It's been wonderful seeing all your introduction posts. If you haven't posted one yet, please do post it. It's how I get to know who you are. Uh, we say hello, we can connect. Um, and I know that you know that there's always a, you know, a next level of, of learning and transformation to embody. And, and ongoing support is really essential to our long-term success. So I am delighted that you have joined us for your personal development journey this week. And if you want to continue with us um, after this week, I'll share a little bit more about how you can do that later this week. And we have got a phenomenal masterclass special for you as well. And some extra duty bonuses just that are only available to you guys because you're part of this masterclass. We have got just uh, in terms of logistics before we dive into all the things, um, all the information you're going to need in, in your emails. So if for any reason you're not getting your emails from us, then please do check the the spam um, box just in case um you know your email providers popped us in there by mistake um i find my spam box is like another inbox somehow spam seems to end up in my inbox and then other, other emails end up in my spam so um i always check my spam box every day i don't know if everyone else does as, as well it's just like a second inbox um but if for any reason you aren't getting any emails then please do contact our team at clientcare at louisahavers.com um, and they'll see if there's something going on our end and we can kind of re reset things so that you get those um, as well. Each day um, I'm going live at exactly at the same time so you can get used to that that flow. Our schedule is in the pinned post in the Facebook group and if you haven't already I just highly recommend getting these dates in your diary so that you can if possible attend live if you need to join the replay, of course, um, we have replays to, to help um, to help you make that um, to make that available to you. I know we've got people joining us from New Zealand and Australia, so it's kind of like the middle of the night for you guys now. Um, but the most important thing is to hold this uh, appointment that you have with, with yourself so that you can receive what you set the intention to receive when you registered. This is really, really key. How you show up in this experience is training your subconscious and it's being imprinted into the Akashic record of your soul. And if you're new to the Akashic records, then just know that every thought, memory, emotion, experience is imprinted into your Akashic record. And the Akashic records are an etheric database that stores all the information about everything and every living being, all universal events, thoughts, words, emotions, intents that have ever occurred past, present or future beyond and include beyond the physical plane of existence um, as well are energetically imprinted into the ether. So when we really consider this, it's really important about how we show up for ourselves. So I invite you to consider how are you training your subconscious for another thing that you only allowed yourself to, re to receive half of? Or are you training your subconscious to allow yourself to fully receive and to claim the results you desire to create? that were in your mind when you registered for our time together. It is, it's easy, isn't it, to show up on day one, but our, our experience together requires commitment. And commitment is a quality for success and expanding our capacity to receive. Let me know if that resonates in, in the comments. Huge welcome, everybody who I can see is just joining us now as well. So let me know in the comments your intentions for the calls that we have together. Are you going to be joining me live or on the replay? Pop live or replay in, in the comments. That would be really, really helpful. So this is so I can get a, a sense of who's coming. That'd be super helpful. Okay, we've got some lives. Awesome. 
Yay! Okay, fantastic. Lots of lots of people live with me. And if you are joining us on the replay, I always do circle back and, and read all the uh, all the comments as well. So um, I hope that you feel like you're live with me if you're you're joining the replay as well, because we can continue the conversation in, in the comments. So today we are getting you set up for success. We're going to reveal our exciting competitions and prizes, get to know one another. And as I said, if you're not in the Facebook group yet, then you can scan the QR code to join our Facebook group. This is where we'll have all the action and support going on in between our sessions. And you're going to learn the exact steps to focus on in mastering wealth energetics. So you'll always know how to have complete confidence that you can hit your financial goals. So that's what we're up to today. And then tomorrow, we're going to be, I'll be revealing the six energetic blocks that slow down your next level of success. So you'll understand how these have been showing up in your business and you'll know what you can do to start to financially relax as you grow to your next six figures, you know, your next seven figures with, with more ease. Because I have found that there really are some key default patterns, blind spots, nuances that appear at different levels of, of your business. And we'll dive into what's coming up for you personally. And you'll receive the step by step guide that we've created exclusively for you guys in this masterclass. So that, you know, I can guide you through. You've got the steps laid out and we'll find out what's hidden, what's going on in in your in your energy field. And then on Wednesday, we'll be diving into the hidden energetic blocks um, in relation to sales so that you can create sales with more ease. It's time to improve how you allow sales in and, and to really heal the entrepreneurial hamster wheel of who's felt this or recognizes this one where you feel like you're working harder and it can create this roller coaster income and exhaustion game. And this will be really relevant for you if you know you found things that perhaps they used to work and now they're no longer working. So you want to know what are the energetic blocks that are impacting your results. So you can delight yourself with results beyond what you thought was possible. So we're going to be creating, co-creating with the energy of money with our Helix Method manifesting ritual. And I would truly love for you all to have the kind of results that our previous masterclass members and our clients have. So we're going to start diving into all that tomorrow. And then we continue our journey together on Thursday where uh, you will discover what has been creating energetic leaks in your ability to hold money so that you can hold both more clients and more money. This is a, a key one to being able to create big leaps fast in your revenue and business. And so we'll be helixing again together in the class so you can start to increase your capacity to hold more money. We don't want any more contracting back after an influx of money or wondering if you can do it again or where it all went let's set the intention to receive money feel really good about holding money with with more ease and then on friday i have a real treat for you we're going to be diving in to and opening your akashic records and activating your soul blueprint and when you are activating your soul blueprint you are accessing yourself at a at a multi-dimensional level, which allows you to align with your preferred and most abundant timelines. So we'll clear the blocks that are preventing you from receiving your next money breakthrough with more ease and activate the abundance codes in your Akashic Records. How does that sound? And then we'll have the weekend to integrate, catch up on replays. Often people will re-listen to, to sessions again so they can dive in, dive in deeper. And then on Monday, I will share the case studies that show you how my clients have achieved their breakthroughs in their wealth consciousness, the ripple effect that that has then created across all areas of life, you know, what it looked like for them in business. And so you can see how you can do this too. We're also going to be on this session answering all your questions. So as we go through our time together, I want to make sure that everyone's questions get answered. So I know that questions will bubble up, um, sometimes if you've got a question in your head, someone else is probably thinking of the same question. So do invite you to, to, to post it in the comments um, 
either in the, the chat if you're with me in the Zoom room, or we'll circle back and read all the comments to see if there's a question. Of course, in your Facebook group, um, in the Facebook group, if you can tag me um, at Louisa Havers, then that would be really helpful. It just helps us to, to find them because as the comments start to, to build up, um, we just want to make sure that we capture all your questions. So we'll make sure that we get them all answered. Many will get answered along the way, but I just want to have a place where we can answer them all um, and have a conversation about this. So you can use hashtag question and, and tag me, and then that just makes it all a bit easier to, to, to find the things. And then we're going to bring this all together on the following Tuesday, uh, which is our session on your wealth activation strategy. So we're going to bring it all together and you'll walk away with a clear action plan on how to expand your wealth consciousness, healing the energetic blocks so that you can have that confidence that you will hit your financial goals, whether that's your, you know, your first six figures, your next six figures, your next seven figures. So that your next level of success is inevitable and you and you feel it's inevitable and this is really key that it's in inevitable in an energetically aligned way really really important so that we're not kind of creating some wonkiness as we're growing our business and so then you feel really motivated and accomplished and in flow feel really satisfied with how your business is flowing and then we're going to wrap up our our time together on wednesday the 13th of march we're going to have a closing party. We've got some fun prizes to, to share with you. So we'll do all the prize draws then as well and celebrate your transformations as they unfold throughout our experience together as well. So I am so excited to be sharing this, this with you all. We have got a very, very special time together. Um, and I know that for those of you that do stay committed and take it all in and allow yourself to receive all of this all of this you will get the results and the transformations that you you desire to come for does that sound good and for those of you that our are, are new to our world just by way of introduction and i'm looking forward to reading your intro post in the facebook group so i can get to know you as well um just to, to let you know a little bit about what um what i do i am a success advisor i'm the creator of the helix method which is our powerful energy psychology modality and I'm a master of Akashic Records channel and teacher trainer and our mission is to help self-aware entrepreneurs and coaches live at their fullest self-expression you know where we can self-actualize and actually fulfill our ultimate potential because this is my firm belief that when people are being their best self and operating from a place of of love and abundance they make better decisions. We all make better decisions. We're better parents. We're better friends. We're better partners. We're better business owners. And all of this collectively creates a, a ripple effect across the globe. So how we do this here is we do this by being the number one place for our high achieving entrepreneurs, leaders, CEOs to come here for their wealth energetics, their personal development, having that aligned success channeling higher realms of consciousness and ultimately making a bigger impact with their businesses. And the reason that I am so passionate about this is my background is very different in that I was in the corporate world for, for many years, working as a, a senior manager for social services. And I was, you know, in when I was in that role, I was leading on some high profile stuff, things like you know, I was developing multi-million pound services, leading on managing change across multiple agencies. I led a multidisciplinary team of police, probation, fire and rescue officers. And during that time was leading on developing services for those affected by domestic abuse, sexual abuse, preventing radicalization, drug and alcohol services, homelessness. And then prior to that role, I was developing services for older people, including mental health units, secure units, dementia units. And I share all of that so you know that I understand trauma really well. And that combined with my psychology degree and my postgraduate um, diploma in counselling and years of energy coaching people has given me a huge breadth to, to build on. And I bring all of that experience with me to what, I am, what I'm offering you today. And when I look back at that point in my life, I, I realised what I was doing then was really what was expected of me. 
this is when I was working in social services, I was wearing what I call the corporate mask of success. Has anyone else worn that corporate mask of success where you're like, actually, this isn't what you really want to do. I had just kind of fallen into it. And the truth was that, it, you know, I was too busy to have a, a life outside of work, really not enough time to actually spend time with my children beyond dropping them off here and there for clubs and parties and schools and all the things. And I was working additional hours because I thought I had to, you know, to do more work to get the job done. And when I look back, I was constantly in that reaction mode and responding to work demands, family demands, dramas that would pop up, you know, consistently. And then at the end of the day, if I hadn't fallen asleep with my sons already, then I was collapsing on my worn out sofa, just flicking on the TV, just to have some background company and just to numb the loneliness and the illusion that I was perpetuating until, and you know, and I remember this day and it was just like a day like any other, but for some reason, it was the day that changed everything. When I was sitting on this sofa, we used to have this brown kind of worn out sofa. And this is when we were living in Eastbourne. And I was just sitting there going, I'm exhausted. Oh my God, there's just got to be more to life than this. Is this it? I don't want this to be my life. This is just, you know, what it felt like I was just working to pay the bills. And I wasn't having the time that I desired to have with my children. And I, I knew I had this real sense, this just inner pull, this calling, if you like, that there's just got to be more to life than this. And by this, I mean, you know, by doing what was expected, which was working as a, you know, as a senior manager in social services. I was a single parent as well. So doing this very high profile job, very stressful job, working really, really hard on that corporate hamster wheel thing. And uh, anyone here, anyone here in, in the public sector, because you'll know this one, <laughs> um, you'll have had experiences of pay freezes, restructures managing change programs, all the things, they just kind of put them on rinse and repeat. And uh, which ultimately means that, you know, you've got more work being piled on pay freezes, so you're not getting paid any extra money. And with all the in continuing cost of, of live, living in increasing, they just started to become too much month at the end of the money. And it was the second kind of key point for me was turning point for me was the long term illness of my father before he passed away. That really gave me a wake up call because I'd seen my dad saving for retirement all of his life and never actually had the opportunity to enjoy the retirement that he had envisaged because he was ill health retired. And so the retirement he had actually was him in and out of hospital like a yo-yo and my parents home filling up with medical equipment and my mum was running herself ragged caring for him and I wasn't seeing him as much as I would have liked to because I was always working or doing everything on my own for my sons. And it was that where it was really like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, I'm not spending my time with the people that really matter to me. And ultimately, when my dad left us far too, far too soon, I was like, that is just not going to happen to me. I want to have more of life now. Although at that time, I was busily recreating, um, recreating, putting off more of life um, because I was trapped in this kind of pathway I perceived at that point on the struggle bus of money, never enough at the end of the month, having a huge impact on, on my nervous system. It is a, it's a truly exhausting place to be. And so I felt like, you know, I'm on that hamster wheel, working to, to hard to pay bills. And as soon as the money was coming in, it was just flying out and I was juggling credit cards to pay for the necessities. And, you know, it was absolutely exhausting. And I got I got to the point where I was like, you know, what? I'm no longer willing to tolerate my experiences of life. These are the experiences that I've created for myself. And as a as a single parent, I had extracted my children from a cycle with their with their dad that wasn't serving them at that time. And I was working really, really hard. And, you know, I knew I had I had no choice. I've just got to think about things differently and to think about how I could maximize my revenue potential, how I could actually create more time. So to create more time to have with my sons, to create more money, more time to actually do things that I love doing, more time to have fun, more time to be with my mum, who is I was getting older. And I realised it was time for me to me to leave and just to go, right, do you know what this we're going to just completely reinvent things. We're going to do things in a in a completely different way. And, and that was it was seven years ago now, which I have to say does blow my mind. Of course, I've learned so much along the way about growing online businesses, about energetic alignment, about our different levels of consciousness, our bodies, 
uh, wealth energetics. And there have been many times when my nervous system has been at its capacity for receiving, making and holding money. And I've seen it reflected back in my business. There's been times where energetic blocks have bubbled up and slowed down my cash flow, my sales, and ultimately the impact that we offer through our company. And that's created more resistance than flow. And and this is the thing. Always, my subconscious has delivered with a 100% success rate in keeping me in alignment with the identity that I've embodied. Always bringing me back to where I haven't done the inner healing and the manifesting or I've allowed the blind spots to divert me. And I've listened to the thoughts that have bubbled up to divert me. And I've believed them. Who else has recognized that as like, we don't want to believe the thoughts that are bubbling up um, when we're in the in those spaces because it's our default set points that are just have kicked in to keep us think that keep everything the same same. And so it's through all of these experiences that I've been shown, you know, where I've where I need to improve, where there's a new level of learning and transformation required. And I do believe that however painful and uncomfortable it can be at that moment in time, there is always a gift in our experiences. Does that resonate? Let me know in the comments if if this is resonating. And the gift, I think, for me is really recognizing that through my own contractions, I have found methodologies to help my clients move out of theirs. So I share all of this so that you know that when I'm partnering with you, I'm bringing you the, the, the perfect blend of spirituality, energetics and business strategies to help you live at your at your most fulfilled life. So that's a little bit about me. Please do share your intro posts in the in the Facebook groups as I would love to see what you're up to, um, where you know where you're making your impact in the in the world with your businesses or your or your career. Um, so please use hashtag intro post and then um, I can read all your introduction posts and carry on the conversation with you in, in the comments. And we would love for you to uh, invite uh, your friends and colleagues, uh, people like yourselves to to come and join us in the masterclass this week. So you're very welcome to do things like share screenshots of our live and and tag us in it. Share your light bulb moment, you know, what what that has been. You'll inspire somebody, maybe give them their own light bulb moment as well. Um, Let people know why you're enjoying what, what we're up to together. Um, Of course, you can do this on Instagram, your Facebook, LinkedIn, all the things. Um, Please do tag us. And as we see see these tags coming in, we can send us a screenshot of you having done it. Then we'll pop your name into our prize draws. We've also got some beautiful infographics that you can use as well. You'll find the I'm in one in the uh, in the Facebook group that you can download and share in your stories or share on your newsfeed and, and, and all the things. Um, And if you need the link to um, share the the registration so that people can register for the masterclass, then we will get that for you. If the team could pop that in the in the chat and in the comment on Facebook as well, then you can just easily grab that, grab that link and and share it with um, your friends and colleagues that you think would value value this time together. So what can you win? Some amazing things. So we've got some incredible prizes. You can win a business forecasting session in the Akashic Records. The value of that is £2,000. So that's absolutely huge. That's our um, phenomenal, um, you know, first prize, if you like. You can also win our Akashic Records activations. We've got so many of these now. They're all so powerful. I get DMs from people all the time about just the most incredible transformations that have happened as they've listened into and and uh, I've guided them in opening their Akashic records through these activations. So you, you can win an activation on healing your relationship with space time, the mother wound, the witch wound, your sister wound, clearing entities, future self progression, our wealth blueprint collection, and so much more. But that's just to give you a flavour. And what happens is when your friends join us in the um, Facebook group as well, we have just one question at the beginning, which is just like, how did you find us, basically? So when they say your name there, we'll, we'll also pop your name into the to the prize draws as well. And you can also have your name popped into the prize draws for taking action. So as we see you taking action on the homework thread and in the comments, um, you know, please do share Um, your insights in the comment section as well so we can have this conversation together any phrases that I perhaps say that resonate for you again if that's something that really lands for you pop it in the pop it in the comments 
you're welcome to use it a little bit like your your, your notepad. Um, and then that really helps to, for me as well because I see what's landing for you. And just before we we dive into to the the, um, the the meat of this all, um, I just wanted to give a big thank you to our team who are supporting you this week, providing you with a concierge service. So we have Amy and we have Moses. Moses is my son. He's here uh, making sure that you have everything you need with the, the links and, and, and all the things. So a huge thank you, Moses and, and, and Amy. Um, and they will also both be in my DMs this week as well. So between the three of us, we'll make sure we answer your questions. You've got the replay links and all the links to all the things that you need. Alrighty. So logistics out of the way, we're ready to, to, to dive into all of this. So I invite you just to take a moment for yourself, just to give yourself a couple of breaths, present breaths, to allow you to drop down into your heart center so that you can really focus on this present moment and being here together. So just bring your awareness to this now moment, taking a nice deep breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four, and consider what is your intention for our time together in this masterclass? How do you wanna feel at the end of our masterclass. And as you're allowing yourself to be in this now moment, I invite you to also bring into your mind's eye what revenue and impact you are committed to creating in your business over the next 90 days. And following from that, what revenue and impact are you committed to creating in your business in 2024? So when you've got that in your mind's eye, and I really invite you to allow yourself to, to tune in to how this feels in your body. As you consider and contemplate your intentions for the next 90 days and your intentions for this, this 2024, this leap year. Allowing yourself to really feel what it feels like to receive this. And then so I just invite you to stay with this for a moment. Can you allow yourself to receive even more? Just breathe with this. You contemplate what do you truly desire? Allowing yourself to be with this intention. Can you allow yourself to desire more. Notice how this is feeling in your body. And as thoughts, feelings, intentions come to you, and you contemplate when you have achieved this desire and you've been to the places that you desired to go, you've had the experiences that you desired and you are surrounded by love and abundance. How do you imagine this will feel? What's the feeling that this generates in your body? Is there an emotion that comes to you? Do you feel lighter? Just notice how your cells are responding, how your heart is responding. And I would love to invite you to share your intention in the comments, as this will help me to, to tailor this event to, you know, to where you're at 
what your intentions are. There are subtle nuances as to how the energetic blocks show up at different stages of business and what kind of things might pop up and, and all the things. Oh, beautiful joy, gratitude, feeling warm, soft and held. Beautiful. So it's my intention to, to serve you, for you to expand your wealth consciousness so you can allow your business growth, your revenue growth, to be able to serve more customers and, and clients, to make the impact that you came here to make, to explode through any money ceilings that our subconscious has created to simply keep us safe. So pop your intentions in the comments. Being calm and spacious. And what I'm sharing with you in our time together is how I balance the inner healing work with our impactful manifesting rituals and how I navigate through the emotional stickiness that always comes up when I've expanded beyond my inner default set points, when I'm not embodied in the future version of myself that's required to get me to where I want to go and to make the difference that I want to make in, in life. And this is how I help my clients break through their, their upper limits. And we have 28 Helix Method mentors who I've personally trained and certified. Some are going through the certification uh, I'm training now. And it, it's just such a joy to see them having incredible results with their clients too, with our methodology. I know some of you guys are here as well. So thank you so much for being here. And when I look back, you know, my first three years in business, when I was getting all the foundational pieces set up and my signature program launched and training in energy psychology and healing modalities and cash it records, it was very, it was very hustly. There was little flow and I'd swapped. I realized the corporate hamster wheel and rec recreated basically um, the, the same kind of spinning wheel, but in the entrepreneurial space. So it was a different environment, but, you know, same person, <laughs> same experience. And whilst I grew to six figures and was working with just the most amazing clients, it, it just wasn't sustainable. It was exhausting. And I was studying and contemplating, you know, what are the needle movers? What's going to really make the difference? And I knew, you know, I knew how to grow successful businesses, having built and led many. Um, and I'd had burnout before and I didn't want to frazzle my nervous system again or, you know, or work even harder. And I realized for me that the key was in my identity. And when I left social services, you know, I thought I would feel such lightness as I closed down that laptop for the last time. You know, after, I remember doing that last email, the final email felt really weird after being there for 13 years. And I sort of did the email thinking, I'm never going to know what the outcome of that email is. Closed the laptop down, went off to hand over the laptop to the security guards who had no idea who they were, you know, and just sort of went by then, <laughs> just sort of walked out the door. Um, I had such a conflict going on internally. And I had been really resistant to having any sort of leaving party. Yeah, I'd coordinated and arranged all of this. You know, this is what I'd wanted. And I was really confused by this complete emotional roller coaster that was just kind of going on inside. And what really shook me was when I realized that the emotions that I was feeling, it was grief. I was grieving who I thought I was, that version of me. And I was in that state of who am I without this role? And I realized I just bought into the illusion that I had created for myself that I was somehow that role. That role was my identity. Without it, of course, I actually got to be me. But at that point, I didn't really know who I was because I've been so busy wearing the mask, you know, the busy mask. I'm so busy. I must be successful mask. That kind of push, push, push. Got to do it. Got to do it. Got to do it. That kind of that kind of energy. Has anyone else been in that energy? Let me know. I'm sure it's not just me. It's not just me. And it was from that experience, as I threw myself into my new role and started to create my new identity, I just had I had a revelation. How I perceived myself and my identity was just absolutely key to the kind of life I was creating and the kind of business that I was creating. And this is why, you know, I continue to do my inner work. I'm sure you all do. We know that it's the most important thing to grow and up level as, as, as we grow our companies. And I know that these blocks that we're going to start healing this week come up for everyone me included, at every level of business. And there might be some subtle nuance to it. They will come in when we haven't embodied the future self-consciousness that we need. So this is so key for our growth in business. Because if we have, let's say we have a 500K a year business revenue, 
we won't be aligned with a million dollar strategy because our brain is wired for that 500k and our nervous system's calibrated to that 500k feels safe our feelings are calibrated to that level because this is what we're experiencing in our in our reality and so we know we need to evolve that and to master wealth energetics to be able to do that so that you always know how to have that complete confidence that you'll hit your financial revenue goals even if your success success curve funny how it's called a curve <laughs> think of it it's going to be like a straight line but actually it can look more like a you know knotted string <laughs> and when we consistently and intentionally focus on the steps i'm going to share with you this week on how to master our energetics then our transformation is inevitable and what i found is you know we all want we all want to feel free truly free like we can do anything we want with whomever we want, whenever we want, and to feel really good about generating, receiving, circulating plenty of money without worrying about money or worrying that our business is going to suddenly fall apart. To be able to feel like we are the very best version of ourselves, to be able to use all of our gifts, tap into all of our potential to earn, achieve and evolve, to feel really successful and abundant, to have that space within so that we can allow ourselves to grow spiritually. And to financially relax, to be able to have it all. And in terms of the, we talk of the trifecta of prosperity, the wealth, the health and the love in our lives. And for those that we love, we want it for all of our family members to be able to truly love our lifestyle. To be able to feel excited waking up every day. And to have more fun. I think everybody, any everybody I've ever worked with needs more fun in their life in that it's the one area that we let slip when we start to kind of go back to our default set points. But the, so the reality is that as we desire all of this, we may have some inner conflicts going on. So let me know which one resonates for you. Either they might resonate for you now in this moment. So let me know like, yeah, this is the one that's just like happening right now. <laughs> or it's been a recent thing or it's in the past. Or is it a pattern for you? So are you are you shooting on yourself? So anywhere you might be saying you should be happy because you've got the six figure salary, you've got the seven figure sal salary, you've just bought a new home, or you've just got the relationship you desire, but you've just got that nagging, rowing feeling like something's missing. Every time you accomplish a big goal, you just add another one on because it doesn't feel like enough. So you're just kind of, going from one to the other, creating that hamster wheel effect. And I'll be in a conflict coming through with no matter how much you make or own, you're still not happy as you feel like you want, like you want to be, or your health is taking an impact. Or perhaps you've just worked really hard to get to where you are and you've sacrificed going out with friends, time with loved ones, holidays, weekends, sleep, so that you can have, you know, put 150% of your time and energy and resources into growing your business. Other thoughts might be coming to you as I'm sharing these. Let us know in the comments what they are as well. This is a, a big one. I've seen many people have this one. Feels like things aren't moving as fast as they should in our business, even though you're putting in everything that you've got. Of course, as we're growing our businesses, markets change, they mature, what worked before might suddenly not work. And this can be enough to send us all down a rabbit hole instead of understanding this is an opportunity to innovate and to go deeper within, to strengthen our identity and our emotional resilience. Alongside that, you might see people who have less experience and skill than you have with more money, more recognition and influence, and that can create an inner conflict. You might be thinking, how are they doing it? What have they got? Or no matter how much you're earning or achieving, you just feel like you should be doing more. Let me know what's resonating for you. There can be this sort of perpetual sense of somehow you're behind. So like no matter how much you're accomplishing, it's just not good enough. And you still have this mountain of potential you feel like it's within touching distance. You just can't quite kind of tap into it. Does that make sense? 
Well, this can be a big one for people as well. You thought that making more money would replace the stress and anxiety and, and worry because you'd have that freedom and, and groundness and more joy, more time, but it hasn't. Actually, maybe the stress and the anxiety and the worry have gotten worse because the nervous system is perhaps feeling triggered. What's resonating? I can see the comments coming in. This is awesome. Perhaps you've learned the marketing, the sales, the business systems, the finance and the growth strategies. And you might think you haven't because your income has plateaued. But actually giving those areas extra attention and energy hasn't solved a thing because that's not what's holding you back. You actually know how to do all of those things. And I've facilitated well over 10,000 Helix Method sessions now. I work with hundreds of entrepreneurs at, at all levels of business, six-figure business owners, multi-six-figure business owners, millionaires, multimillionaires. And there's some key blocks that always come up. So we're going to start to dive into those tomorrow. So you want to be here for, for that tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to build on what we're talking about today. And these blocks make it harder to grow your business. And the more blocks you've got, the more energy it takes and all of that stress, hidden anxiety, the negative emotions taking on too many projects, scattering our energy, not having enough rest. It all puts that huge strain on, on your brain, on your body. And if you ignore the signs, you're at risk at, fra at frazzling your nervous system and, and getting burnout. And I found that burnout is one of the key fears that entrepreneurs have. Let me know in the comments if that resonates. Has anybody had burnout before? So let's uncover something here together now. I just want you just to take a moment to feel into this. What is the belief that you hold that if your company grew to this next stage, whatever that stage is for you, that 50K mark, the six figure mark, the multi six figures, the seven figures, what would it mean? So do you believe you have to work harder? Do you worry your get burned out. So just feel into it for a moment. The proper yes, yes, fear working harder. Yes, fear getting burnt out, fear frazzling my nervous system, fear missing time out with children. Visibility is a big one. Do you fear visibility, fear of being judged? Yeah. So burnout is resonating for, for, for people. Anyone found themselves thinking, can, can I really do this? <laughs> I was reading something this morning about how there's so many people that off, off the back of COVID had started their businesses, you know, full steam ahead and then discovered over the last few years that it might be harder than it than it seems and have actually gone back to to employment because it wasn't wasn't for them we need to really develop our emotional resilience and our our energetic vibration for the, for this work here's one that i find comes up for people as their wealth grows in their businesses is what if I make it and then it disappears? And if you're on the replay as well, please do put pop your comments in the in the in the comments as well, because I'd love to, to to see what's going on. So you can see we've got this duality, haven't we? We can hold our vision, we can hold our desires. We've all got the intention that we want for the next 90 days, the next the next year. We're all felt into desiring a little bit more. And then we've got this duality of these fears in our energetic field that are bubbling up. Fear of burnout, perfectionism, procrastination, perhaps a lack of self-fulfillment, whatever it might be, all there impacting our vibration, our coherence in the vibration that we're sending out into, into the universe. So we can find ourselves on the, a vibrational roller coaster because our vibration is affected by our identity, our environment, the results that we have. This is all creating a feedback loop from our energy corresponding with our reality. So it is this that we must focus on, and that is to master wealth energetics for our business's success. And this comes down to, these are the steps to focus on to master wealth energetics. 
creating the consciousness of your future self with multi-dimensional healing and manifesting rituals. So this is this is how you get rapid and long-lasting results. And your consciousness is your, is your frequency. It's made up of three levels of consciousness and they all need to be in alignment so you can manifest effortlessly. So we've got your soul or your higher self. Let me know in the comments, do you resonate more with soul or higher self? Do you see them as the same? Do you use them interchangeably? So we'll use them interchangeably here. Soul, higher self, your conscious mind, your subconscious. And the subconscious level is creating a reality in line with your programming that it's received. So this is throughout your lifetime, your birth, your parents' programming, transgenerational patterns, media programming, of course, societal programming, cult cultural programming, the government programming, all the things, all of this, making up our identity. And then our identity, from that we have our self-concepts around aspects of ourselves and our business. These are groups of beliefs, emotions. These all impact our behavior, the action that we take or we don't take. And all of this makes up uh, what I call your human Wi-Fi, ultimately your vibration and your magnet. All of this is in your energy. And this is really key to, to, to be aware is that your thoughts are electric. So they're sending out electrical waves. Your emotions from your heart are sending out magnetic waves. So we're sending out this ele electromagnetic field as a frequency, as a magnet to the universe. And what's going on energetically with all of this, just to explain the energetic states for a moment. And the simplest way to think of this is in energy psychology, we talk of three energetic states within the expansion state and the contraction state. So the flow state or the expansion state, this is the one that we all want. This is when, and we all know the feeling when we're in this, where we're like, oh my word, things are just, just like you're flowing downstream. Everything's aligned with our desires, things are slotting into place with ease, synchronicities have just kind of gone through the roof, like what is going on? And we can feel like we know, like we know our body knows the certainty of our results. It's like we're already there. We're going with the flow of the universe and our nervous system feels safe. And our higher self is just surpassing herself with the wisdom and the intuition that's dropping in. We're feeling amazing. Our chakras are open and expansive. All the energy is flowing in our meridians. We're feeling really, really good. And then we have the contraction state. And there's two things going on here, energetically and contraction. So we've got resistance energy and then we've got reversed energy. And we have energy reversals. Think of these as part of your energy that is just literally flowing in the opposite direction to what it normally would. It's going the wrong way. And when you have an energy reversal, you can become stuck or frozen in time or in a particular way of being or, or so much so in relation to a particular subject that the flow is is reversed and energetically it's created this 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 default set point and the flow of energy is moving away from what you want so when you find yourself putting more and more time and energy into changing something you can feel like you're you're moving away from it like what is going on here perhaps you're repeating patterns or you feel trapped in a in a holding pattern or a, a loop of relentless limiting beliefs and behaviors that are taking you away from where you want to go if that's going on for you, you've likely got some reversals at play and energy reversals, they come from our experience in our past where we were shocked, traumatized, or perhaps, you know, didn't have a, a coping strategy for the event. And our nervous system was triggered and the flight, fright, freeze, collapse mode was, was set off. And that imprint is held in, the, in our energy field, in our subconscious. And so any time then we have another circumstance that's connected to that experience in our subconscious, this energetic loop is, is re-triggered. And then when we feel them triggered, we go into that contraction. Does that make sense? And then we have resistance. And that can feel like, <laughs> I could describe it as like pushing treacle up a hill. You know, you're going in the right direction, but it's so slowly. And it just can feel like this sort of push-pull sensation. And this is where you can have dual beliefs going on. You know, you can believe both, I deserve to receive 50K. And you can believe I'm undeserving of receiving 50K because of different aspects of things that are going on in different layers of your consciousness. And then this creates that resistance and this creates that contraction. So our resistance is created through our identity and resistant thoughts and beliefs that were in alignment with an old identity that, you know, we need to outgrow emotions, our past experiences, 
our current experiences and experience of reality all through this, this feedback loop. And without that intention of changing that, it's there as a little magnet doing its thing, making sure that we attract more of that in resonance with it. So we really want to change these reversals and resistances and transmute that energy into a flow state where we're open to receiving across all levels of our consciousness and energetic being. And when we're in coherence and in flow, we have we have more energy when we manifest faster. Things feel easier, truly the easier it gets, the easier it gets. And this is the ex expansion and flow. And this is what we're doing with the Helix Method. We're creating the consciousness of your future self and our manifesting rituals, creating that flow state, that expansive state so we can hold it and we can create with more ease in this state. And this is the thing, the subconscious doesn't necessarily know the difference between excitement and nervousness. Does anyone here, let me know if you remember this. As, um, maybe you might have been told this as a child. I know I was certainly told this. And people would say it to you as a way of reassuring you, kind of trying to calm your nerves. So does anyone remember anyone saying to you, when, you know, so when you were nervous, just tell yourself you're excited. The feeling is the same. It's a sort of way to combat the nerves. Did you hear that one or any sort of version of that? Let me know in the comments. This is really key for us now as, as business owners because we can be super excited about a huge leap in business and our body is interpreting nerves. Our amygdala starts to be activated and before we know it, got a huge energy reversal from having a huge growth in business. And if we don't know it's there or how to transmute it, it's going to be hanging out in our energy field, vibrating out so that we, we want to be able to to do this work, to be able to find out where we may have some things that were really exciting, but actually our bodies interpreted it as nerves and we've created an energy reversal. Does that make sense? Anyone had a huge quantum leap in their business and it was like the most exciting day, like so exciting. Did your body interpret that as nerves? Let us know in the comment. This work is really deep and I truly believe it's the most important thing we can do for ourselves, for our families, for our business, for our life purpose, for the collective, you know, the impact that we're here to make, make in the world. Yes, doing a book launch. Okay, so this is resonating. Awesome. Thank you, lovely, for sharing that. So as we're talking about this and we're thinking about resistance and reversed energy, do you recognize resistance in any area of your business. So include, think about sales, marketing, perhaps products you're offering, clients you're working with, cash flow, leadership consciousness, wealth consciousness. Within all of these aspects, you may feel really in flow in one area, but being really wonky in another area. With that resistance and reversed energy kind of feeling like it's got more of a hold than the flow. So do you recognize resistance? Do you recognize reversed energy in these areas? And our, our wealth consciousness underpins and is interlinked with all of these areas in, in our business. So we can take full energetic responsibility for what we create, both consciously and unconsciously. And when we do that, it is a game changer. Keep the comments coming. And if you're on the replay, we'd love to love to hear from you guys as well in terms of what's resonating about resistance and reversed energy in those different aspects of your, of your business. There's some principles to really um, understand when we decide to consciously create our reality. And I know some of these will be familiar with you already, but just to kind of make sure everyone's on the same page. These underpin, these, think of these as your keys to creating limitless possibilities and exploding through any revenue ceiling in business. The strategy only in business is going to get you so far. Mastering the energetics will allow you to create that with more flow and ease and to have that exponential expansion. So in terms of mastering energy psychology, there are these basic reality creation principles of how everything in the universe and in your life works. The first principle 
is everything is energy, including your thoughts, emotions, beliefs, and all of these form part of your identity and your human Wi-Fi. The second principle is energy follows your attention. So your attention is your greatest asset. As where your attention goes, your energy goes. So your attention becomes your intention. It was really key to be intentional. There is creative power in intention, which is why I always start off all my masterclasses with what, what's your intention? What are you intending to create? The third principle is, and I really invite you to, to, to feel into this and to, to embody this. Your subconscious is your friend and wants to keep you safe and is 100% committed to being right. And to keep you in alignment with your identity and your belief patterns, behavioral patterns, and these are your default set points. This is key. Your self-awareness is absolutely key to being able to, to recognize the pattern so you can create a pattern, interrupt and rewire and reprogram it, you know, replace it. We get to the roots of your behavior by working across the different layers of consciousness. And there's some things that you'll need to be mindful of. And I'll speak more on, on this tomorrow for you all. Principle four, to create a different reality, you must have the identity of the version of you who already has this. So who you be in any moment, the energy, the intention behind actions that you're taking, the intention and the energy behind the office that you're putting out there. So who you're being in that moment as, as you're, spending money as you're investing money as you're creating money so if things you are doing now aren't creating the result that you desire become the person who does things differently let's change the energy principle five so key creating alignment with your higher self and your subconscious and your conscious mind when you do that it brings you into resonance with what you desire more quickly i see this all the time you receive the inspired actions you, of course you get to act on these and take the aligned action because when you create from higher planes you're able to be non-attached to the outcome and when you're attached to the outcome you're actually creating from a lower plane of consciousness from think of this as from the astral plane it's, it's a slower vibration there's a lot of old, old ego there and it requires more effort to manifest. So this is why co-creating with your higher subconsciousness is so magical. And I'm going to introduce you to our proprietary Helix Method Manifesting ritual this week. I've got a step-by-step -step guide for you tomorrow, which we'll share with you tomorrow. So I'm super excited for you to experience this. And then the sixth principle is you will receive what your subconscious feels safe to receive, which means, hurrah, your capacity to receive can always be expanded. And I talk a lot about soothing the nervous system to feel safe, about allowing more in. I live by these principles and working with them is how I changed my relationship with money, broke through my revenue ceiling, and I continue to work with these principles they're the foundations behind our proprietary modules in the Wealth Portal, which is where our clients are enjoying um, their results um, with their wealth consciousness. Some of my favorites are things like, you know, they've been doubling their revenue, tripling their revenue, having exciting results like 100K months, releasing lifelong people pleasing patterns that have been impacting their pricing and sales, offering new services to their clients, husbands, Husbands have benefited when their wives are in the program too, getting getting promotions and all the things. So there's, there's a massive ripple effect out for, for all the family. And I think one of the key things is, is having a new level of peace and calm in their relationship with, them, with money so that they aren't being traumatized by past experiences or hidden, hidden in their expectations or self-judgment that's been taking them out of the game and then pushing their pushing their progress and development back. So how I help my clients change their energy and their vibration is with our energy psychology modality, the Helix Method, which will heal unresolved and, and hidden traumas, trapped emotions, limiting beliefs, all held within your body's intelligence and, and energy field. And we, um, we balance that with our daily success manifestation rituals so you can create that rapid transformation in your consciousness and, and your reality. So this will change your life. It changes who you be. You get to think and experience different things as you allow more in. It's truly, truly exciting. So are you ready to, to take control and to become whoever you choose to be? And truly, when your vibration is high and you are an energetic match for, for your desires and you're making decisions, 
This is so key from a place of expansion and not contraction, things flow. You trust yourself more. You actually trust the universe more. And this is where the momentum starts starts to build. build. And I think the thing here to, to bear in mind is I think it's easy to take energetic responsibility when things are going well. I did that. But it does take real commitment and, and courage to be energetically responsible when we've stopped doing the things that we know work. And the thing that I invite you to, to be mindful of here is that the, the thing is that the cells in our bodies get addicted to the emotions that they're used to feeling and our subconscious is masterful at recreating that experience so that it can feel that chemical hit. So this is one of the reasons why we can have sickness after a whim full of income or the fear can start to creep in that it's all going to suddenly vanish. Or we can suddenly stop doing our manifesting rituals and slowly our frequency and our vibration becomes denser and it's harder to manifest. And the body goes, yes, I've got my chemical fix. Does that make sense? So our cells in our bodies get addicted to the emotions that are used to feeling. Addicted to stress, embarrassment, shame, guilt, that current set point of self-worth. And our subconscious is going to masterfully recreate that experience so it can get a chemical hit. And of course, most of the time, we've got no idea that this is going on. Have you ever wondered why or how you stopped doing what was working? Perhaps you found yourself disengaged in a program that you were loving, suddenly too tired to take the action on, the, on, the, on your business that's going to create the result you desire, or suddenly telling yourself you feel overwhelmed. You're going to burn out if you do X, Y, and Z. So our body's having withdrawals from the emotional chemical reaction in the body. It's used to feeling, and then it's so it's recreating this. So we suddenly stop doing the Helix Method manifesting ritual, for example, which works. And then slowly our frequency and vibration become denser, harder to manifest, and the body's like, yep, yeah, I win. <laughs> the body just wants to go back to what feels familiar because that feels easier. Pulls you back at a cellular level to that familiarity familiarity which is why we do need to be held to support it in containers so we can break through our blind spots and the body's chemistry and the subconscious doesn't pull us back in all the amazing creative ways to the same old default set points it's your through our consciousness that we create reality and it's through our identity that we create the the paradigms and the concepts and these create the beliefs, the emotions, all of this informing our behavior and our action. So I invite you to see it as this, as this feedback loop, all of this vibrating from our human, human Wi-Fi that we're sending out into the universe. And it's our consciousness that we need to consider and the different layers of our consciousness. So if you think of the iceberg of consciousness, so our conscious mind is where we're intentional where we say we choose things and then our subconscious is where all the vast collection of habits, identities, values are held and have the biggest impact on our outcomes if we're disconnected from our higher self. Because if we are, then our subconscious mind is, is running the show. The conscious mind thinks it is. But the subconscious is. So we need our higher self on board. Because otherwise, if you think of it, all of the, the reasons that we want to have more business growth or growth in our investments, bigger deals, all of that's held in our conscious mind. And then all the reasons why not to allow more money in are easily, you know, more easily, let's say, are held in the subconscious mind. So this is where we get these this dual conflict, this inner conflict. And we need to have our higher self on board for, for our manifesting. So we're going to dive into this tomorrow. But this is where if you feel like anyone's felt like they've had that push, push pull effect, they've got like their foot on the brake and on the accelerator <laughs> on their journey of life. Then there's likely some inner conflict going on. So we want to have our higher self our conscious mind and our sub subconscious mind all working 
in alignment together. And I'm going to introduce you how we'll do that tomorrow in, in the Helix method. Alrighty, let me know what resonates. To wrap up, I've shared with you these steps to focus on in Mastering Wealth Energetics. So you always know how to have complete confidence that you're going to hit your financial revenue goals. I've shared with you the reality creation principles. So you know how this works. You've set your intentions for what you want to achieve over the next 90 days for your personal growth and your business growth and started to understand about the energetic states of contraction and expansion and how we have resistance and reversed energy within the contraction. I would love to know what your intentions are for the next 90 days for your personal growth and your business growth. So please do pop them in the comments so that I can read them. This will help me tailor the experience to you. And let's chat. I want to make sure that you get the most out of our time together as well. So I am offering an energetic alignment audit call with me. So the team, if you can drop the link in the comments for everybody, that would be awesome. And be sure to get your call booked in with me so we can dive in to see what's going on for you. We're going to build on all of this tomorrow as we talk about the six energetic blocks that are slowing down your next level of success. And as I mentioned, if it feels aligned, please do share that you're taking part in this experience this week on social media. You can take screenshots, boomerangs of our lives, share and tag, tag us, all the things. So appreciate doing this. It would just be wonderful to have um, more people with us and to be able to serve more people so that they can get the results that they desire as well. And as a thank you, we'll pop your name into our draw to the business forecasting for the business forecasting and Akashic Records with me. And as you're sharing on, on social media, do share what you're learning, what your light bulb is, because that very may, uh, may well inspire somebody else and help them to have a light bulb too. Thank you. So we've got the, the link for, in, for the energetic alignment call in the comments in the Zoom room, and we'll get that in the Facebook group for you as well. So I would love to know as we wrap up, what is your takeaway from today? So I have got a poll if you're with me in the Facebook group, um, in the Facebook group, in the Zoom room. Um, so that should have just popped up for you. So if you can answer that there for me. If you're in the Facebook group, then pop what your takeaway is from today. That will be super help, helpful for me. This will enable you to anchor it in, to embody it. If you're on the replay, please pop it in the comments as well. And I invite you to notice as you're contemplating this and you're thinking about your revenue goals for the next 90 days, how expansive and aligned your intention are you feeling right now on a scale of one to 10? Just make a take a moment just to become aware and let me know in the comments as well. So one being not at all, 10 being like, I'm 100% aligned to my, to my goal. So the aligned actions for today, and we'll have a homework thread in the Facebook group as well for you to share. What is your revenue and impact you're committed to creating in your business over the next 90 days? I'd love to know also what your intention for our time together is in the masterclass, how you want to feel at the end. And you're invited to book an energetic alignment audit call with me. Our 15 minutes together, we'll dive in so that we can really tailor this to, to you, your time in the masterclass. Alrighty, I can see the poll being completed. Thank you so much. That's awesome. If you haven't completed it yet, please do. Just consider what was your biggest takeaway from today. And we will be back tomorrow at two o'clock UK time with how these six energetic blocks are slowing down your next level of success. So you understand, you know, how they may have been showing up for you in your business. You'll know exactly what you can do to start to financially relax as you grow to your next six figures, your next seven figures with, with more ease. And there are some key default patterns blind spots and nuances that appear at different levels of your business. So we're going to dive into, you know, what might be coming up for you and you'll get our step-by-step -step guide 
that we've created exclusively for you guys in the masterclass. So I'll I'll guide you through so you can find out what is hidden. We'll, we'll be doing that together tomorrow. Until then, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you all, to, all tomorrow. We'll leave the, the Zoom room open for a few more moments so you can complete the, the poll. And also, if you're not in the Facebook group already, then you can scan the QR code to be able to uh, come and join us in the, in the Facebook group as well. Alrighty, sending you all loads and loads of love and I'll see you all tomorrow.